Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I want to quickly tell you why your car is likely stalling and not idling at, uh, at stops when you come to a red light when you start your car it's in park things like that and the number one reason for that happening is that you have a bad mass airflow sensor and in some cars it's a map sensor I have no idea why but sometimes people ignore the check engine light in their car somebody tells them ah it's running keep on going and that is your first sign that you're going to have uh, more serious issues down the line you got a check engine light in your car it's telling you to get the car checked out. You just simply ignore it, keep on driving, and sooner or later, your car is going to stop running. Just the way it is. Things degrade, things get worse, and then you're sitting there scratching your head. So, one thing you want to do if you get a check engine light is have that code read somewhere. Either buy yourself an inexpensive code reader or go to an auto parts store. Here in the U.S., almost every auto parts store will read the codes on your vehicle for free now if you have a mass airflow sensor code or a map sensor code you will likely need to get that replaced uh, the code is usually p0102 or p0103 and that's indicating that you have a problem with that math most vehicles built after i would say 1992 surely after 1996 uh, has what they call a mass airflow sensor when you find the air box under the hood of your car the sensor is usually right behind that air box the purpose of that sensor is to measure the amount of air flowing into the engine so if for some reason that sensor goes bad the computer system in the car that controls the idle when the car is not moving doesn't know how much fuel to mix with the air that'll usually cause your car to stall out when you come to a stop when you're driving you have your foot on the gas you're moving your throttle body controlled with your foot when you're moving that throttle body your foot is controlling the air and then the computer uh, mixes the gas with that so the car will run and continue to run while you're driving around however when you come to a stop and you let your foot off of that gas this throttle body which is linked to a switch will shut off and close the throttle body and send a signal to the computer system to tell the computer hey you need to control the engine and make sure it stays running now because the car is not moving and nobody has their foot on the throttle. At that point, the computer relies on that sensor to meter the air to tell it how much fuel to mix with that air. And if that sensor is bad, it won't know how to do it and the car will probably stall. Now, if you're driving around and it doesn't work, it will probably cause your car to use more fuel than it usually uses. However, it'll keep running may not have the power it used to have may not run as smooth but it'll keep running but once you take your foot off the gas come to a stop that sensor is critical in keeping the car running so there's a good chance that if you have a mass airflow sensor code it'll usually set a code your car will not idle might run okay might drive okay but it won't idle when it comes to a stop this doesn't always work, but occasionally you can unplug the mass airflow sensor, start the car, and it'll be fine even when you come to stop. It won't run good, but it'll run enough to get you around. So you can try that, unplug it, squeeze that tip in, pull the plug off, see if the car will start and run for you. So if you have that code, you probably need to do one of two things. Number one, you got a 20% chance this will work. Go to the hardware store or the auto parts store 
buy some mass airflow sensor uh, cleaner mass airflow sensor cleaner uh, take that apart there's a video linked in the comments clean it don't touch it that might work 20% chance 80% of the time you will need to replace that mass airflow sensor and when you go to replace that sensor it's best that you use the brand that you pull off of the car it was designed specifically for the car the manufacturers helped design it and tune the car's computer system to run with that I would not recommend jumping on uh, eBay or jumping on uh, Amazon or uh, going to any other weird, whacked out, crazy, inexpensive source to find one of those sensors unless you find the brand name that goes with the car. So you could take a close look at the sensor, see what brand name is on it. It may be Bosch, it may be Denso, it may be, you know, I don't know. Whatever that brand name is, that's the brand name you want to go back on with so that you can kind of have a better chance of the car running good, getting good gas mileage, and giving you some a more a trouble-free service. So that's about does it. The number one thing that will cause your car to stall when you come to a stop while you're driving or not idle is your mass airflow sensor or your map sensor. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.